Hello everyone and welcome to a new Excel tutorial. In this one I will show you how to remove this table right here while still keeping all that data. So let's say that uh, I accidentally selected uh, some data and I formatted it as a table or maybe this is how I received my file and uh, I perhaps uh, I don't need this to be a table so I would like to convert it to a range. So now let's see, let's see what uh, options we have and I will try to keep this video as short as possible so please give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more content just like this one if you learn something new and if this is useful to you. Now the first thing to check if this is a table is uh, by clicking anywhere in it and if this design tab right here appears then it means that uh, this is a table or if we select everything on this uh, box right here to the left of the formula bar uh, we have the table's name so cl clearly clearly this is a table now there are two steps that uh, we can do to convert this to a normal range and the first one is to click anywhere in the table and go to the design tab and from here from the last uh, box that we have right here table styles i'm going to click on this small button from the bottom of the menu and i will expand this menu right here and we have the clear option and this will clear all the styling right so this already looks like uh, like a normal range but if we if we select everything notice that this is still table 2 so uh, the next step that we have to do is to click anywhere in the table then right click and there's an option in here that says table and uh, it opens this uh, additional drop down menu that says convert to range so this will take our table and it will convert it back to a range this is essentially the opposite of what this button right here does which takes a range and formats it to a table so i'm just going to click on the option i'm gonna hit yes because this is a warning asking us if we really want to convert this to a normal range and yes this is what we want and here we go we no longer have the filters right here of course we can add them anytime we want by hitting ctrl shift and l and if we control a over here this is no longer a table and it is a normal range that's it this is how you convert a table to a normal range thanks for watching and see you next time